Star Trek Online ship number 13. Looks like a Romulan. Hmm, looks like a bird of a warbird, but a bit extra. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here, one of the Star Trek Online, the official Starships collection, model magazine review by Eagle Moss. This time in number 13 out of 20, this is the RRW, and I'm going to pronounce this wrong, I know I am. Arlyle, Arlyle, Lal, Elal, Lal. This is the Romulan class ship that's in, well, one of those class ships that's in the game. Let's have a look inside. Standard usual box art on there, which is nice. Just give you a few what are coming soon on there, which is good. So, open up, box out of the way, magazine behind. <laughs> so, let's have a quick spy what's in the magazine and learn a little bit about the ship. It's at the 25th century, it's 780 meters long. It's like really quite a big ship. We have turned the light off. There we go. You can see a little bit better. Romulan Republic. So that's what the RRW. Romulan Republic War Machine. I don't know. War. Mm. Looks very interesting. It does look so much like it's it's a plus warbird, shall we say? Okay, a lot of reflections off the light behind me. I'll put that there for you so you can see. Like always, if you want to read these properly, either pause or go by your own. Simple as. Okay, the ashes of the, uh, from the ashes of the division, the wig of the Hoba Supernova. Okay, Romulus. No, we, know, we know the canon by now. If you're new to uh, Star Trek, really, really get on with it and catch up. But the Romulan star, or at least, did it go supernova, or did a star in the area go supernova? Because of the whole idea back in backstory of the reboot Star Trek film. Which is fine, that's how I got Spock to go back in time to a different parallel universe. Yada yada. If you don't like it, don't watch it. But that's the further story of that was. We know in, in the Discovery era, in the 31st, 32nd century, whatever it is they're up to now, Romulans are no more. No, neither are the Vulcans. They are Navarians. Because they finally unified and become one people again. So... There's game stats there, if you play the game, play the game, yes. And it looks like we're going to be in for a little bit of a treat. So get in, in, that was easier. Mm, okay. Numbers on this one, very low number actually. 0167 A slash A, first run. So let's get you zoomed out a little bit. And we'll have a look at this ship. With better lighting there we go so yeah it looks on the top side at least looks very much like a warbird but a lot more flattened down if you look on the profile on the side however this is where it changes but then the d Darad x class warbird there's missing a uh, yeah, yeah so it's not a full it is a from the front it does look very much like a d Darad x but it's not so there we are. It, it's, it's got some nice detail work on here. Front end is very heavy, so I don't know where you'd put the stand. Probably around the back of here. And like I, said, I do not like putting these things on a stand. Even if you did put the stand on this back part, the amount of weight on this front end, I'd, I'd put it underneath here. So that's a bit more balanced, shall we say. But lots of white lights on there for the windows. Not too, too much. I said this is more longer than it is high. If you count the decking on there, they're probably about one, two, three, four, five, about 15, 16 decks on height wise, but quite a long ship being 700 meters. So at least twice the length of Kirk's Enterprise. Looks like we've got the warp cells on the side, but not very displaying of them. A little bit of paintwork on the side there. And underneath the wings, I'm probably guessing disruptor cannons. Strange little lip there and, and just artistic -y flair bit on there. But I'll get you in a little bit closer to have a look. There we go. Let's have a look on the back end there. That's quite nice. See a lot of panel work, a lot of detail on there. I'm thinking that Eagle Moss 
do actually like their Romulan ships. I mean, you've got... i put the finger there. It is very much the same as a D Derek X class cockpit there. Well, front section at least. Hmm. I mean, these two little winglet thingies underneath winglets go off to the nacelles and then come back around with this lovely sweeping, sweeping motion on the top, underneath the, of the top section. And this aft torpedo cannon, aft disruptor cannon, I mean, that's a few decks high to start with. I don't know if those are Romulan markings in red or whether or not it's just that. I can't tell with the screen I'm looking and I definitely can't see it with my eyes. Come around to the cells and the weaponry. That's a really nice ship, that. It's a shame that, that well, well, let's hope for the future, that perhaps they do a Star Trek Online era series. I know Picard is set round about the same, it depends how long Picard series will last, but it is set in the same sort of era. So it, it might have ships in there for this sort of class, not just the copy and paste um, series one end of Picard. But we would like to see something. We have seen in the second series of Picard, we have seen a certain... Oh, yeah, we're going backwards wrong way there. We have seen certain ships from the, the next generation Voyager era, and we have seen some newer ones as well, which from this era. We're hoping to see very soon the Enterprise F, if not maybe the Enterprise E has, has maybe been de decommissioned, I don't know. Maybe the end of Series 2 there can be um, Ravi's guy, he's um, not the captain of the Stargazer anymore, he's actually going to be captain of the Enterprise, with the Enterprise F and off they go. Even though Data was meant to be in the comic books, was meant to be in charge of that ship, which he wasn't and Data didn't and things went Wibbly wobbly and whatevery sort of thing. So yeah. So the size wise, yep, we got same sort of thing as usual. It's either the width or the length of my hand. Nowhere near the length of my hand, but width, yeah, between side and the bottom of the thumb. Nice, very nice looking ship. So yeah, for the online ones, for the alien ones, I'm not always fully keen on them. But for this one, I really quite like that. That's a really good one for me, that one. So good, done. So that's number 13 done so that in mind please like and subscribe please yeah, subscribe to the channel help me out better, whatever way you can if it's with a comment or whether or not it's be a patreon the links are in the description if you go with the channel description itself there's loads more in there get in touch we'll start a conversation get things going so like i say thanks for watching i'll see you in another video bye for now